this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an expanding drop-down list. In this example, we have a list of staff names and we need to enter the departments that they work for. We can type their departments in manually, but this will take time and mistakes could be made. Being able to choose from an option makes it much easier for the person who has to enter the data. Firstly, we need to create a table with the list of departments. This can be done in the existing sheet or it can be done in a new sheet. I'm going to do it in a new sheet so that the data does not accidentally get deleted or modified. To do this, I will click the Add button next to Sheet 1. Here I will create the table of departments. As you can see, I have now created the table. Now I need to make it into a table that Excel will recognize. To do this, I will click anywhere within the table and click Insert and then click Table. This should automatically highlight the whole table. We will keep the option My Table Has Headers checked as we will have a title in our table. If you do not have a title, you can uncheck this box. Once this has been done, we need to highlight all the departments, excluding the header, and then create a table name. To create a table name, you need to type into the box above column A the department name that you'd like to call it. I'm going to call it Departments. Once you have typed the table name, you can click Enter. Now you need to go back to Sheet 1 using the tab at the bottom of the page. I'm going to highlight cell C2 to C15 as this is where I want the drop down to appear. If you want it to appear further down, you can continue selecting as necessary. Once you've selected the cells, you need to click on data and then data validation. Then from the data validation criteria, select list for the source we're going to type in equals departments so that it selects it selects the table that we have created in sheet 2 and then click OK. Now as you can see your desired departments you can select your desired departments from the drop down menu. If you want to add more departments to that list all you have to do is go back to sheet 2 and type in another department. I'm going to type in HR. Once I go back, I can now select HR from the drop-down list. And there you go.